Mm-hmm. Hello everyone, this is Spartan Assassins here and today we'll be going to have a look at a, at a new faction preview uh, as well as a, maybe I would say the copium guide so this is both a faction preview and copium guide together in uh, what we call one video so we are going to look at Liu Zhang and this time yeah just like Yuan Shang and Cao Cao I'll be skipping all this because for those who already have the face divided DLC I believe you guys already uh, know about the faction mechanic of inheritance as well as the unique units that were brought together but for those who didn't I will just do a short brief but it is still like you know it, it is already a known thing if uh, if you actually watch all the videos YouTube videos so we'll go into the game and we'll actually do some yeah copium guides maybe for around two three turns so let us get into the game then Alright, so we are now in the 207 campaign and first of all, uh, yeah, first of all, you are at war with a uh, Meng Huo. You are you are more, you are at war with Meng Huo, and currently you are at a uh, not at war with a uh, Ma Chao and as well as Zhang Lu. So what you need to do is in the starting in the beginning of the campaign, you already have a stack of your own. Uh, so it is not the best stack I would say. So. If you actually want to build up this stack, go ahead build it up. Same goes to this. If you want to build this stack to a better stack, go ahead just build it up. And and scenery wise it is always uh, random. So if you get not if you don't get anything good, so you want to restart it, just restart the campaign. No no worries. Now for two o seven. You actually have uh, quite a larger character uh, court, uh, characters in your court position. So of course, uh, you had your fashion leader Liu Zhang. Then you have Dong He, you have Fa Zheng, you have Zhu Gui, you have Zhang Ren, you have Yan Yan, you have Fan Min, Lady Liu, Wang Lei, Zhang Song and Liu Xin and we'll go and have a look at your family tree so Liu Yan is dead your three brothers are dead and you have your son Liu Xin uh, who is not a good section heir I would say like God doesn't give you a lot so when it comes to air position decide yourself Either you want to go with your own son, your own son, or maybe your own wife. Yeah, your own wife actually have a minus five percent corruption faction wise. So decide yourself. If you don't want both of them, it's not wrong to get another uh, faction heir. But that is when you have the time to actually get one. And aspiration. I don't think so I need to talk about the aspiration and inheritance stuff because to those that actually played the face divided DLC and is a fan it has played Liu Zhang and Liu Yan before you actually already know what does the buffs that are provided from the, this faction mechanic called aspiration and yeah 
that that is basically uh, what you can yeah so this this is basically your fraction mechanic uh, introduced in phase divided nothing nothing big and you start off as a second monkey so by the time you invade most of uh, Meng Huo and eventually the destroy the entire Nan Man you should be enough to secure a duke maybe this is just a maybe I, I cannot 100% confirm and yeah so all right so uh, we'll go ahead with our copium guide because faction preview wise there's nothing much to be previewed uh, you already know what 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 are all these buildings are what are the characters are the faction mechanics and stuff we'll try and see if we can do any progress today and yeah one of them will be like uh, decide where we should be going what our what are our plans as Liu Chang of course the the still the main target your primary goal will be unite the entire south southern lands because you already have uh, secured your entire partial region as compared to your 190 start and 194 and the rest of the start you start off a little bit bigger and you start off with a decent economy so definitely build up Liu Chang and his stack Bleach your way down south, make sure to destroy every Nanban faction. If you meet one, just go ahead, declare war, make sure that they never get a chance to declare war on you. You are the one who must be the aggressive one. Because uh, you have to understand one thing is your stat, your Han units is, is actually much more better than Nanban units. So use this opportunity, use the unit, uh, yeah, use your better units, deal with Nanman, Meng Huo, as well as the Samoke and Mulu, yeah, these three uh, Nanman, and secure yourself some spice and maybe some tea if let's say there, there is some tea here but also secure yourself with copper mine and stuff now what should you do next after securing your uh, southernmost position as in the subjugation of Nanmanis you have two choices continue pushing south eradicate Susie and his gang or invade Changlu and from there expand further north that is the two route that you can choose now of course there is also a third route which is invade uh, Patong and take down Kui Pass the thing is this from here from Sanglian which is your weapon craftsman to Kui Pass you will take like quite a few turns and eventually from Kui Pass you want to invade to Xiangyang Lin Lin Qi it will be like you know you have wasted so many turns and the amount of turns that you wasted here you could have just like you know from Pasi invade Han Zhong and eventually Xi Zhong Sang at least the turns that you took to maneuver from this area to this area is already equivalent to the conquest of the entire uh, Zhang Lu's faction not to say the entire but maybe 50 to 70 percent if let's say you really do quite a lot of like maneuverings and stuff like one to take these two down and you also get yourself a 50 percent uh, conquest achievement or of like the same route of, of this uh, route so of course I would say that 
never invade this area unless you really want to waste your time which I don't suggest but you, if you were to invade Changlu you'll be exposed to Cao Cao and his vessels now this is one of the prime opportunity for you to decide where you want to go who you want to be allied with if you are at at war with uh, Liu Piao for sure you know that you can always defend the weapon crossmen and the other step will always invade from Changlu's territory so once you take down Shangyong city Liu Piao Xianyang the, uh, the city is basically exposed to you already so you can always invade from here go for the south or if you let's say you already conquered most of the Naman territories especially some Samoke you know that there is a route that passes through Wuling and from Wuling could reach Patong you can always invade through there it is not wrong both sides are uh, always uh, available routes to invade Liu Piao but if you want to attack from two sides it is up to you but never invade from this side because you are taking quite a long long time just to invade some uh, some two maker I believe yeah you are spending quite a long time to take down a gate and a two maker instead you could have used the time to take down like valuable cities and resources as well as uh, making sure that your uh, background uh, backyard is not threatened by a Nanman uh, Nanman faction take down the Nanman first then decide who, where you want to expand if you want to invade into Liopia of course you always can go for this route but the best route will be through Wuling or Shangyong and another route another way for you after your conquest of Changlu will be are you willing to go the uh, northern expedition route it means from Jiamen Pass you are like let's go we are going to you know uh, achieve what what Zhuge Liang we are going to make it a success we are going to make sure that we are able to like push north and then go east into Chang'an and eventually secure Luoyang and stuff we are going the old Zhuge Liang's expedition northern expedition route it's up to you you can go ahead it, it's not wrong because AI are dumb you are the one who is smart there unless you really make a make a laughing stock out of yourself but you can always go north Another one more route is the southern route, which is the Sushi and the Gang. Now, Sushi and the Gang is actually quite easy to be taken down, apart from this Jiao uh, Zhi region here, the northern Vietnam here, which is a bit hard to be maneuvered due to so many fort jungles and stuff, but you can eventually conquer them. And from here, secure your uh, southern route and primary your primary target will be Sun Quan. Once you've managed to defeat the Shi clans, I would suggest you go ahead and invade Sun Quan before uh, Sun Quan is strong enough to be a threat to you. Cause you have to understand, even with the coming of patch zero point six. Sun Quan would still be one of the strongest faction in the campaign in the mob uh, of course he will be the one who will be competing with Cao Cao in terms of landmass and vessel influence and stuff but you know that you are in in the Bashu region so you have you already have a safe start as com like compared to the rest of the map your start is probably the most safest and the most uh, western most like you definitely know that there's nobody is going to backstab you which is why you need to make sure that your southern barbarians are settled and 
before you if you don't want Sun Quan to be too strong once you deal with Si Xie and the clan straight up invade him because Sun Peng will be in this region so you will be in this region Sun Quan will be in this region so blitz your way make sure Sun Quan is weakened by the time you take half of his territory you should be able to proclaim yourself an emperor because you already have enough prestige by then and what else should is it talkable hmm for your allies for your ally you can always decide to go and be an ally of Liu Biao he's not to say the best he's he's basically neutral when it comes to relationship between you and Liu Biao but you can always like go and talk to him make an ally of him but never never trust him because Liu Biao as a faction if Huang Zhu or Jing Xuan decided to like oh, no I don't like you man I'm just going to declare war and like bring Liu Biao into the into the fight yeah you are fucked so Liu Biao is a good ally if you actually want but you have to be well of his vessels but of course I would say fuck allies go do your own stuff invade Chang Lu invade Meng Huo invade the rest push Decide where you want to push after settling the Nanman issue first. The Nanman is much more important. This is this is all cancer. The rest of the factions are all fresh wound. So decide who who you want to kill after your uh, conquest of the Nanman. For sure, one of the main one I would suggest is just eradicate Sangru because this piece of land connects you gives you the option to invade north or invade east it is up to you so i am not sure if i want to continue to a second or third turn because most of the stuff is already explained in the first turn so i think i might just end the copium guide here but since What's the point of even talking about this in the second turn if I've already covered the entire uh, Liu Chang expedition plan in just turn one? I can always come here and you can like you see you you have two places to invade at the start of your turn. Either you go for Ping Yi or you go for Chu Ti. So this is your invasion plan. That's all. And once you are here, just invade Yunnan and subsequently the rest of Jianning. As for... Yeah, this tag I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure about this tag because... This stat would be just here sit standing and doing nothing. Let me get it. Alright. Yen yen. Alright. Give you this, give you this. Anyways. Um uh, I would say record this tag. Uh, you don't need to use them. They are not. They are not going to be used for the copying guide. So, hmm, unless you actually want to do something much more, you know, challenging. So build up a full stack, rush B into Jiamen Pass, invade the entire Changlu, and then end your campaign, northern campaign there. As for your south, yeah, you already have Liu Chang, which can invade the southern areas. So I believe I will end the video here because I don't know what to talk about anymore. Uh, the battle plan is already laid. 
the execution is always up to you I, I don't mind if you actually lose your entire campaign here and there but yeah this is basically all that I will be explaining for today and hopefully I'll be able to see you in the next one then bye